All right, it's just gone. Excellent. So we're going to be recording today's session. You'll be recording myself and Florencia talking. Um, so, but just to let you know, we are recording it um, for people who miss it or miss the next one that we're hosting. Okay, well, welcome to our webinar today. All about Get Online Week and how you can get involved by hosting awesome digital skills events. Get Online Week is coming up on the 16th to 22nd of October and our grants to host events for community organisations are now open and closing in just a couple of weeks. So we wanted to share a webinar with you so we can share some ideas on your events um, and help you get excited about this really fun campaign. Before I get started, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the lands on which we're meeting right across Australia today and pay my respect to elders past, present and emerging. I'm joining you from Gadigal country in your nation. And as Good Things Foundation, we support action towards healing and reconciliation, including the Uluru Statement from the Heart and Voice to Parliament. So if you'd like to also acknowledge the country you're joining from in the chat panel as part of your introduction, we would welcome you to do that. So today we're going to cover what is Get Online Week? Some ideas for events. We're going to talk through some event planning tips. How to apply for a $1,000 event grant to help you cover the costs of getting involved in Get Online Week. Some of the exciting support available. We're thrilled to be announcing some very exciting news to you today about some of the support available. And of course, we'll be answering your questions. So if at any point you have a question, please type it into the chat panel. We're gonna be just using the chat panel today for questions. So if you have a question about anything to do with Get Online Week, about anything we talk about, um, please type it into the chat panel and make sure you send it to everyone because sometimes uh, other people who have done Get Online Week before might be able to help you out with their ideas. And sometimes we will. We'll also have Good Things Foundation team members in the chat to help answer your questions. Okay, so let's dive straight in with our first poll of the day. Uh, Florence is just going to activate the poll for you so it's on screen. And our question to you is, have you taken part in Get Online Week before? So, yes, no or I have participated, but not through hosting an event. So perhaps you've got involved online before. So have you taken part in Get Online Week before? Yes, not yet. We've gotten involved in another way that's not hosting an event. Awesome. So we'll give you another couple of seconds to vote in the poll. All right. So we end the poll. So we've got about 40% of you who said, yes, you have done Get Online Week before. Wonderful. I'm going to be asking you to share some of your experiences today with those 50% of you who haven't done it before. Wonderful. So great to have you in the, on the webinar today. We love Get Online Week and hopefully you will love it too. And just a couple of you um, have gotten involved, but not through hosting an event. So that's awesome. Very happy to talk you through. What I'll do, I'll make sure I go from the beginning so uh, we can cover all that information about what it's all about as well. So let's kick off with what is Get Online Week. Uh, so Get Online Week is Good Things Foundation's digital inclusion campaign. It's our sixth year running it in Australia. Our uh, sister charity in the UK has been running it for over 10 years. Um, it encourages people to seek support to improve their digital skills. Um, this year, it's going to be held from the 16th to the 22nd of October. So in this one amazing week, hundreds of community organisations around the country band together in a national movement and host really fun digital skills events that really make people not afraid to try something new online and to get involved and access support to learn new digital skills. So we're really trying to reach those people who have low or no digital skills or confidence and encourage them to take that next step in their digital journey with us. So that's what Get Online Week is all about. It's also a great way to raise awareness about the importance of digital inclusion. So you'll see us doing that as well during the week. So why is it important? Well, 
we just had the latest uh, Australian Digital Inclusion Index released yesterday. So for those of you in the know, you'll see that. Um, one in four people are still digitally, digitally excluded in Australia. That's going to be a struggle if I can't say the word digital today, but I'll do my best. Uh, one in four people are still getting left behind in our digital world. And less than 40% are confident that they can keep up with tech. So even those who aren't classified as digitally excluded um, will still don't feel that confident that they can keep up as tech changes rapidly around us. And I'm sure you can all understand that feeling. And we know Get Online Week really helps. So 100% for every single event holder last year said that Get Online Week was beneficial to their community. So that's really important information about why it's important. How does it work? Well, we activate our campaign partners. So we work with uh, sponsors and programs like Be Connected to make sure that we can offer things like our grants and support and reach more people at risk of digital exclusion. As Good Things Foundation, we then mobilise and support hundreds of event holders around the country. So we're all about helping you to get out in your community this Get Online Week and lend a helping hand. And then through all of our efforts combined, so through our PR campaign, through our events, we support people at risk to learn essential digital skills during Get Online Week and let people know about all this amazing support that's available to them out in their communities. So that's how it works. And what impact does it have? I just said it an, a really impactful campaign and we know it works. And partly how we know it works is through the important work that our event holders do. So last year, we reached 19,000 people through events in just one week. So that's a pretty amazing reach that we can all have together by doing something in the same week. We also have a survey that we ask as many people as can to fill in who go to events and over a thousand of those 19,000 filled it in last year. And they said that 93% of them learnt something new at a Get Online Week event and 92% of people who go to Get Online Week events want to learn more about what they can do online. So we know that this idea of having really fun, local, free, digital skills events in local communities really helps to reach those people most at risk of getting left behind and help them to learn something new. So very powerful. Last year, we also learned a type of things. So what do people actually get out of Get Online Week? Uh, well, this is our quick summary. You can imagine all the different topics because Get Online Week is amazing in a way that you can host whatever type of digital skills event you think your community will best respond to um, and that you think they'll want to come to. But overall, one of the biggest things that people learnt at Get Online Week was around online safety. So things like scams, passwords, security, privacy, things like that. The next biggest category of things people learnt were basics, basic digital skills. So how to use an advice, troubleshooting, just generally how to get online. So that's all those really basic, important digital skills. Then people also did photos and selfies, apps and QR codes, um, something fun like a hobby. So it could be your knitting group, uh, learns how to download knitting patterns, how to stream music, videos and podcasts. And then we have this really big category of other, <laughs> which is all the other stuff that people learn. So really important things like using social media, video calling, learning how to use essential services, uh, government services, uh, buying and selling and making payments online. So they're all the really important types of digital skills people learned last year. And I can see a question has come through, will these slides be available after the webinar? I'm sure we could arrange to send them out, but we will have a recording of the session as well if that is more useful for you. Okay. So let's, if there are any questions about what Get Online Week is all about, pop them in the chat panel now. And if there isn't, I'm going to move on to the fun bit, which is hosting an event. And that's my personal favourite bit about um, Get Online Week, is seeing all the amazing events that people host during the week. Okay. 
So for those 40% of you who have done Get Online Week before, please go ahead and write in the chat panel what you have done before, your event idea, or share your idea for a digital skills event in the chat panel now. So if you have an event idea that you're thinking about, please share in the chat panel. Make sure you select to everyone. If it goes to just hosts and panellists, only Florencia and I can see it, which is lovely, but this is a time to share. So please pop your event idea into the chat panel now and that way we can share. Or if you've done something before, please go ahead and share it. I want to see all your amazing things that you've done previously. Wonderful. So I can see people are planning an online holiday, uh, had an event on uh, at the library on how they use digital library resources. That's a really handy one. Excellent. Someone's got the idea of doing seated dancing as an activity. I imagine looking at uh, YouTube dancing videos to follow along, something like that. Perhaps um, you can clarify that one for us. Oh, such good ideas coming through. Online quiz, yeah, people love a quiz. If there's a chance to win a prize, people will be there. A free barbecue lunch with a Tech Talk tip afternoon and 45 people attended with raffle prizes. Oh, Excellent. That sounds like an amazing thing. And who doesn't have a free lunch for sure? There's a reason Get Online Grants can cover catering. Excellent. Oh, such wonderful ideas. So we're going to talk through a couple of our own now to help those who haven't got a Get Online Week event idea just yet or hasn't gotten involved before. And you can find all these event ideas. We've actually published our event ideas in an article on our Get Online Week website. Um, so you can go ahead and read more detail about there and um, so I'll just get you to post that to everyone, the link to the, uh, to the event resources. Um, just make sure it's on everyone. Yep, perfect. As I said, we're sitting next to each other today. So fun digital skills event ideas. First one, karaoke time. Now, I don't know about you, but some people love singing karaoke. And what better way to get people inspired to get online than, especially those karaoke lovers, and then looking up their favourite song on YouTube, playing it for everyone and singing along. So everyone can learn how to use YouTube, how to find their favourite uh, music, how to play, find their favourite song and sing along to it as a group. And I went to a uh, karaoke event last year and it was a lot of fun. It was in Vietnamese, so I struggled to keep up, but I still had a lot of fun. Cook up a question. Now, that's the one I have on screen explained exactly what that might look like for you to break down the idea. So I'll come back to that in a second. Morning tea cozy. Uh, so that's just uh, having a digital skills morning tea. Uh, perhaps looking up for your crafters, a craft um, activity online and doing that craft activity together with free tea and coffee and cakes to help people feel really comfortable and confident. So looking up uh, crafting activities, following tutorials and going ahead and doing them. Uh, barbecue and ask a queue. We've already explained the barbecue idea. So host a barbecue for everyone and ask people to bring along their tech questions and then you can answer them together. And if you don't know, totally okay, look up the answer together. It helps to make people feel very confident about um, how you can find out more information about going online. And listen in, so that's all about finding your favorite radio station or podcast and uh, how to find that online and stream it uh, and share it with your friends and family as well. Now let's dive into that cook up a question one. So if you're thinking about how to make an event digital skillsy, so that's a technical term, um, I've outlined exactly how you might do cook up a question. So for that one, you might, first of all, in your event, so say it's a two hour event, everyone who comes, you might demonstrate how to search for recipes online up on a big screen as the event leader. You might then ask everyone to have a go finding a recipe online using their own device. So if everyone BYO device, um, you can ask them all to have a go looking up a recipe themselves using the internet. Then ask people to find a specific recipe online that you have pre-prepared. 
So it could be a very easy microwave mug cake recipe, for example. Ask people to try and find a specific recipe that you have organized in advance. Perhaps give them a go at Google searching or typing in a URL as a skill. Then cook the recipe as a group together. So actually stop, get out there and cook your, your microwave mug cake together. Then eat your cakes together and share a picture of what they've made on social media and everyone can have a go of taking a photo using their phone and posting the picture on social media. So that's three or four digital skills in a really fun cooking event that people want to come to. So that's that cook up a question idea. All right, but, but wait, we have more ideas. Okay, so activity card bingo. We're so pleased to let you know we're going to bring our activity cards back if you were involved last year. We, it's a set of playing cards and on each playing card is a five to 10 minute digital skills activity. So you might be able to use those cards as part of your event idea um, and play bingo with it. I went to an amazing event last year where um, if you had done the activity, you put your name in the hat and then lucky me got to draw out the winners from the people who, who entered the competition. The more activities they completed, the more chances they had to win. So that was a really fun digital skills event. And I've got a question, are the cards new this year or the same as last year? Well, this is your exclusive. They will be an extended set. Last year we released 15 activity cards in the one pack and this year there'll be 24. So you'll have nine new brand new activities this year in your playing cards, which we are so excited to be able to um, organize for you. And we we're looking at them just yesterday and they're looking really fun and cute, if we do say so ourselves. Guest speaker, that's always a really popular one. So invite a guest speaker, perhaps someone from your local police station or scam watch or someone like that. If you're community is really really concerned about online safety get someone in to talk about online safety who's an expert maybe get an expert in who has done heaps of genealogical research online for your historical society and let them know um, what how they can look up family history online and share what they learned from going online and get people to have a go guest speakers are really useful you can always host an online quiz as I said, people love a competition, love an opportunity to win something. So hosting an online quiz is really fun and everyone can get more familiar using their device and entering their answers using their device. And now I'm going to talk through the jump on board activity idea. So let me just um, explain how you might run a session like that. So before people get there, you might set up five or so digital skills stations so when we we're writing this up i had we had the idea of a train in mind so go with me here okay you set up different stations around your event space break people up into groups and ask people to go to a first stop or their first station and have a go doing a five minute digital skills activity it could be how to change their contact details it could be how one of the activity card sessions. So it could be something like looking up a plant identification app, something that's relevant and useful and quick online. Have a conversation, have people find it, help people to learn that skill. After five to 10 minutes, rotate to the next station and do the next digital skills activity and keep going. At the end, bring people back together and share what they learn and celebrate your wins with a cake. And look, if you want to have a go at the Women's Weekly Train Cake, I, don't let me stop you. Uh, one of the hardest ones, but uh, quite good. I would love to see that photo if you can do that. Um, but yeah, sharing what people have learned, celebrating successes together. Um, and you, that way people can learn lots and lots of new digital skills in quite a fun, quick environment. What's another event idea? Any questions about event ideas? I can see someone saying they're still using last year's activity card deck. Ah, oh, that makes us so happy. Good to hear. 
So now I'm going to hand over to my colleague Florencia, who's going to talk you through um, some of our tips on planning an event. Okay, planning an event sometimes sounds difficult and could be tricky, but there's a few keys. So it's important to be well organized and think about every detail. But first, we want to see what are your tips on hosting a digital skill event. So please go to the chat panel and tell us how works in your last experience, how was the key for you, and share with us so we all can learn from you. So to planning an event, there's a few important points and we are gonna talk through some of them. The first thing is to think about your hook, is to have something to make your event attractive and fun. And I think fun is gonna be the keyword for every event. Also, you have to think about your idea and if is this something that your community needs or if it's something that your community wants to learn and which topics could be useful for them. Also, you have to plan and test your digital skill activity. Do you have to think if people is gonna be more interested, if you have food available or if they prefer just an information session? Also, you need to be sure how you're gonna teach them the activity. You need to have a screen to show what are you doing? Do you know how to explain properly how you, they are gonna make the action or the activity? So you have to think and plan. Also, you have to plan your budget. Um, it's really important for you to think what you need to cover with the grant. For example, if you need a catering, if you want to print some things, if you're gonna pay in a staff, um, something that we can recommend you is to get different quotes and pick what the quote who fits better what you are looking for. It's really important then to promote your event. So everyone needs to know that you are hosting an event. So you can do different things. You can make a phone calls if you, if you are able to. You can post in your social media if you have social media. You can use some of the posters that we are going to send you in the marketing pack to put them around your the place when you're going to host the event. So you need to everyone know and spread the word about your event. Okay, next. Then you need to consider some risk and the safetyness of your event. You are responsible for keeping your participants safe during your event. So you can complete a risk assessment. Some organizations already have one. If not, you can find one on internet and check every point. But for example, it's important to think, where are you gonna put the cables? Or if you are hosting an event outside, what happens if it's raining or if it's a strong wind? So you have to think every detail to avoid the risk and have a safe event. Also, a good thing is to create our RSVP list. It's ideally to ask people to confirm if they, they are going to your event so you can be well prepared and know how many people is gonna be part. Also it's good if you can offer a follow-up support this is an amazing opportunity for you to connect with people in your community and offer them help in the future. Invite them to other events and activities and help them in a good, in a long-term um, way. And get feedback is something really good for you. And it's also obviously really good for us. It's important to understand what things work, what people wanted, what people like it. And it's also something that if you get an online week event grant, you have to get at least 10 attendants to fill a survey with um, the, their opinion about the events. So also in the marketing pack, we will send you a QR code with a survey 
so people can just scan and complete the survey uh, with their opinion about the event. Awesome. Thank you, Florencia. And I can see one question came through about the grant. I'm going to come back to that one. But if you have any tips to add to Florencia's, um, please share them in the chat panel. And she has also just popped in the chat panel a link to our event planning guide, which has all those tips and heaps more, including a checklist you can print out and tick off to make sure you're covering all the boxes. Okay, excellent. So now we're going to talk about how we're going to help you because we're not expecting you to do everything by yourself. We're going to help. Okay. So the first big thing of support that we will offer you this year is again, our $1,000 Get On My Week event grants. So those grants are open for applications. You have to be a member of the Be Connected Network. Oh, I can see there's an error with that link. We'll post that link again for you, um, perhaps just to the resources page, and then you can go ahead and download it. Um, so that grant is now open. Please apply early. Actually, I'll come back to my tips for applying for the link. <laughs> it won't be a second. Um, you have to be in the Be Connected Network, but it's free to register. I think most of you are already members of our network of community partners. Uh, so that is pretty straightforward. If you've had previous grants with us that have finished their contract term, you need to have acquitted them appropriately. Um, if you're still going through your grant term, don't worry. Um, you don't need to have acquitted something you're still working on. But this is for any grants who have now finished their time with us. You need to highlight, be connected. We're so pleased to be able to offer the $1,000 event guide, uh, event guide, event grant um, this year through the Be Connected program, which is our national program that supports people over 50 to get online. Um, so as part of the grant, you have to talk about Be Connected at your event, which is pretty straightforward. You can host free events only. We're helping you to cover the costs and we want Get Online to be extremely accessible to everyone. So your Get Online events need to be free for participants. And you can get one grant per location. So if you're a library that has five branches and each branch wants to host a Get Online event and each branch is registered as part of our network, each of your branches can get a grant. So instead of one $1,000 grant to host to cover five branches, you can instead get $5,000 in grants to host five Get On My Make events across your branches. So if particularly libraries, that's a good one to consider, or if you have lots and lots of locations in your organisation. And our team can help you to make sure that the... Um, your branches are appropriately registered to make them eligible to apply for a grant. So how do you actually go ahead and apply for a grant? Well, first of all, you need to have a digital skills event idea. Lucky for you, we just covered at least 10 different ideas. So feel free to use one of ours or you can make up your own. We don't mind as long as it has digital skills and it's a fun event for get on, and it's going to be held during Get Online Week, okay? Describe it to us in your project plan. On our website, there is a downloadable project plan template. Use our template. Don't go ahead and make your own. Use our template and fill it in and describe what you're doing. Prepare an event budget. Once again, we've given you an event budget template on our website. Please use our template. It makes our lives a lot easier if you fill in the boxes that we need. It means we don't have to come back to you with more questions. Um, but tell us how you're going to spend the $1,000, basically, and pop that in for part of your application. Then go ahead and submit your application online and you'll get assessed by our amazing grants team who do an awesome job. And then if you're successful, you'll get an email letting you know you're successful and you'll go ahead and submit your invoice and accept your grant contract online. And then, of course, host your event during Get Online Week. I should have put another box down the bottom here, which is go ahead and host your event. But here we are. Okay. 
So that's how you actually apply for a Get Online event grant if you're new to our grants. So what can funding cover versus not cover? Your Get Online event grant can cover marketing and promoting your event, including any printing costs or resource costs you have for your digital skills activity. Um, it can cover staff and volunteer costs. So if you need to pay people to staff your event, you can account for that in your budget and can use grant funds to cover staffing. Um, you can use it to purchase loan devices or data that you're going to use at your event. Event logistics, so any catering. As I said, people love a free lunch or morning tea. It gets people in the room and it makes them feel safe and comfortable to learn something new. So definitely put your catering in. If you need to hire a venue, if you need to organise community transport to pick people up and bring them to your event, um, that's okay. And it can cover things like prizes and incentives. Basically, it can cover anything that will help you to run your Get Online Week event. What I can't do, you can't put it in your capital works fund, so you can't put this towards fixing your roof, okay? You can't spend it on anything not related to your Get Online Week event. It's a Get Online Week event grant. You need to spend it on the Get Online Week event. Sounds pretty straightforward. Um, you also can't use the funding to cover any event that you feel like hosting that has no digital skills support provided in it. It has to be a digital skills event held during Get Online Week. Um, you have to hold it during Get Online Week. It can't be used for an event held outside the week. And you can't use it to um, organise an event that people pay to attend. Your event must be free. Excellent. So I can see my team is answering some of your great questions in the chat or Penny already, which is awesome. So what are our tips? Um, we want to help you to have an awesome application for your grant. So here's our tips on how to apply for that funding. First of all, read the guidelines, terms and conditions first. So our guidelines, if you scroll all the way down in them, you will actually find the questions you need to answer in our online application form copied into that guideline document. So you can also prepare your application in advance. Use the budget and project plan templates. So we give them to you, please download and use them. They're just in Word and uh, Excel format. So we've made it as easy as possible for you to fill them in. Use all of your $1,000 budget. So we can only grant $1,000 grants. So you need to use all $1,000 of your funding. And it's always a good thing to, if you're going to put in kind support or pro bono or cover additional costs for your event, um, pop that in as well. It makes our grant team feel really confident that you know what is going to happen during your event. And I saw a question um, earlier about if you get quotes and put them in the budget and then actually when it comes to your event, a cost changes and you're just gonna absorb the extra cost. That sounds fine. Um, just make sure you note it in your acquittal, okay? So you will be asked to do an acquittal. If you need to completely wholesale change your event, and um, compl that completely changes what you're doing and what you've been funded to do, then drop our grants team a note by email, okay? But if something costs a little bit more than you expected, but something else costs a bit less, that's okay. Just account for that and explain that in your acquittal at the end of the project. Okay, what else? Another tip, stick to the word limit. So we give you a word limit for each question that is explained in the grant guidelines. And we want you to use all of your word limit. It helps you to um, know how much information we're looking for. So if we're looking for 200 words and you only write 10, you might need to go back and describe it more. So we have more detail. Be specific and avoid jargon. Jargon is something that creeps into all of our lives, but we might not know um, what you mean. So make it really easy for us to know what you're talking about by being as specific as possible and avoiding any of your organisational jargon. Show value for money and 
it definitely demonstrate the digital skills learning part of your um, event. Write a draft in a separate document and then copy and paste your answers into the online form that we have and don't leave it till the last minute. I know, oh, my system is crashing, I think. So that's exciting. Can you still see my slides? Okay, great. Well, that's exciting. Let me try and recover my slides. Okay, um, I'm gonna keep going for a second. So uh, go ahead and don't leave it to the last minute because that is going to just get you into trouble. And you don't want to try and call us after five o'clock uh, on a Friday because we will have gone home and we won't be here to help you. So get your applications in as early as possible. All right, so what other support will we provide? Well, I'm going to try and get my slides back up. I can talk this through without slides. I've talked it through quite a lot. <laughs> so the great news is we've hinted at this already. The marketing packs are coming back. So you will be able to order an event marketing pack. Um, it will be free to event holders. So if you're hosting an event, even if you don't have grant funding, you'll be able to order an event marketing pack and we'll be releasing the link to order those packs in the near future, in the next few weeks. Um, so that's really exciting. We're going to have our extended pack of activity cards and a whole bunch of marketing materials and tip sheets in there. Um, those of you who came last, had one last week will know we had things like stickers you can use um, to help uh, promote your event. So it's all about helping you promote your event. The bunting will be coming back. So for those of you who like our bunting, our virtual bunting, you can get real life bunting. So really fun um, marketing packs will be available to help you to host your event and they are free. They're free to event holders. Thank you to our awesome sponsors who are helping us to make those event packs free to you. Okay, what other support will there be? We'll be hosting another webinar on the 5th of September, all about promoting your event. So if you're not feeling very confident on how to promote your event, you want some tips on how to do marketing to get people through the door at your digital skills activity, you can come along to that webinar on the 5th of September. We're also going to have a whole range of downloadable resources. So things like social media tiles, uh, little videos, uh, digital skills, tip sheets and articles in addition to those available in the event pack. Uh, some really great resources, more posters, flyers. Uh, we release a lot of support resources on our website that you can go ahead and print, download and print or download and use on in your communications to help you run an amazing get on event so all those support resources will be uploaded to the get on website in the coming months and of course we'll be here so we love talking about get on week so we're very happy to talk you through any concerns you have chat about your idea and offer support as we can from uh from where we are so that is a summary of all the support. Unfortunately, I lost my slides, but lucky me, I know all of the information so I can keep going. So that's Get Online Week in a nutshell. Okay, so I think we have another poll, I believe. So we might just open up our second poll. At, now we're at the end of the session. And while we're doing that, pop your questions in the chat panel and I'm going to come back to as many as possible. So knowing all that information, hearing the event ideas, hearing out event planning tips and hearing about all the support we'll be offering, grant funding and for free, will you take part and get online with this year? So your options are yes, it sounds great. The second option is not sure. I need to chat with our team. And the last one, no, I don't think I'm interested. And thank you for those being honest if you're saying that one. So we take part and get online with this year, but on screen poll, 
Yes, it sounds great. Not sure I need to chat with our team or no, I don't think I'm interested. Go ahead and vote. And everyone's done. So we'll end the poll and share results. Great news. Lots of you are excited. Oh, I'm so pleased. 80% of you. Yes, it sounds great. Awesome. We would love to have you host Get On Line Week events. Not sure I need to chat with my team. Totally fine. Hopefully the information we shared today helps you to have that conversation. And no one was not interested at all. Excellent. Or is a good result. So I'm now going to go back and any questions you have, um, I'm going to go back in the chat panel. So please pop your questions about Get Online Week, about hosting a digital skills event during the week, about planning your event, about our grant, or about the support we offer. And we will go through and I'll make sure we answer as many questions as possible. I had a question How much do your packs cost? They're free. Lucky you guys. Free to people hosting Get Online Week events, I should say. Okay, awesome. Oh, and there's a couple of surprises I haven't mentioned, but I'm going to keep them as surprises for now. Okay, what's my next question? How many packs of cards fell out per organisation? There is one pack of activity cards available in each pack, and each of how it gets one pack. Um, if we're in the scenario where you need more than one pack or event pack because you're hosting a very very big event you can let us know we might open it up for multiple orders but we'll let everyone get one first and then if we have leftovers we'll let you have um more but for now it's uh one event pack per event and you get one pack of activity cards in that event pack last year we made some available to download and print more of um, we might do that again, but at the moment we're just working to get all those event packs ready. So hopefully that helps to answer that question. Question, will, we, will Good Things Foundation be organising an online quiz we can access during the online week? No, not this year. We're leaving it up to you guys to host your own digital skills activities. Um, if you want to have an online quiz, it's really fun. There's heaps of templates you can use so you don't even have to write your own questions these days um, to go ahead and have one but we aren't planning on hosting our own online quiz this year okay um a question about the activity cards can we order just the additional nine cards no they'll come as a set of 24 we're not breaking up those activity cards into the extension and the ones from last year, it will just be a pack of 24 cards. So if you're one of the lucky people who got a set of cards last year, you'll now have two packs with nine bonus cards. Okay. Where is the condition that there is only one grant per project location? Can't find it in the guidelines terms conditions. So it's one grant per registered network partner. Um, so if your all of your branches would have to be registered network partners in their own right, you can connect them behind the scenes if you want to, but then each branch can apply for a grant. Okay, and if you have concerns about how that works, um, get in touch with our support team um, on our phone number or email connect at goodthingsfoundation.org. Um, I think we've already posted our contact details in the chat, but if not, we'll pop them in again now. So yes, one, one branch per grant application. So each grant registers as a network partner with us, then each branch can apply for a grant. There you go. Perfect. Um, another question. Um, a couple of people are going to go and chat with other organisations in the area to see what they're doing. That's fine. You can group together if you want to and have one event, um, but you all might like to host a different one. We do encourage you, if you're seeking grant funds, to see how many you can have. Can you host more than one during the week? And some organisations I've already seen in the chat panel are already planning to do more than one event during the week. So people will do one big one, so people will do something every day. 
welcome you to get involved a lot too and get online week because it's really fun. Any other questions? Final call for questions. Excellent, I can see people planning. Wonderful. Any final questions about anything to do with Get Online Week? I can answer about how to host an event or what's involved. No, I think that's done. If you do have a question between now and when grants close, please just get in touch. We're happy to have a chat. Um, I hope to see all your Get Online Week events registered with us and see what you're doing. It's wonderful to see all the action people are taking to close the digital divide during Get Online Week, which is, of course, the 16th to the 22nd of October. So it's coming up very quickly. So thank you all for coming along. Really awesome to have you attending and sharing your ideas and participating in the chat panel. And I hope you have a wonderful Get Online Week. Thanks, everyone. Talk to you soon. Bye.